I'm a second year computer engineering major at UC Davis and in this video I'm going to talk about three things that I learned as an engineering major. Also, I know engineers like to get straight to the point, so there you go. <laughs> The first thing I learned was that if you make a friend in one class, you pretty much made a friend in all of your classes. Engineers pretty much take all the same classes. So you got your math, your physics, your programming, and your probable therapy after taking all of those. Let's say that you made a friend in your math class. Yeah, somehow an engineering major had enough social skills to make a friend. That means that now you've made a friend in your physics and your programming class. Well, probably. Because engineers take all the same courses, so if they were in that class, they're probably in those too, and they can help you out if you don't rub them the wrong way. You shouldn't have any trouble with that. And if you do end up having trouble with that, then you'll just text them to see if they want to study together, and they won't respond, so you text them again. And then they don't respond again, so then you just tell yourself, they're probably busy. And then you see them like a picture on Instagram. But it was probably a study break. They're, you know, they were probably studying really hard. They just want to take a quick Insta break, and they're busy. That has to be it. They still like me. There's no way they don't like it. The second tip is that everything feeds into everything. What I mean by this is all your classes are prerequisites of all your next classes. For example, to take that one physics class, you need the math from last quarter. And then to take that one engineering class, you need that physics class from that quarter, which requires the math from last quarter. So if you failed that math from last quarter, I guess you can't take that engineering class because you couldn't have taken that physics class, if that made sense. Also, a certain physics or engineering class maybe isn't offered a certain quarter or semester, so you have to wait to take it like next year, and then your whole like four year, five year plan gets pushed out, and then you're in trouble. Then you gotta pay the big man on top to let him let you stay there, and hopefully not fail again even though your track record's been garbage. So yes, when I say everything feeds into everything, it means all your classes are probably a prerequisite for the next class you have to take. The third and last thing that I've learned as an engineering major is probably the most surprising, and it's that you don't just jump straight into engineering courses. Your first year as an engineering major is just basically physics, computer science, and math. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and then communications, because you know, engineers are awkward. <laughs> I'm just kidding, by the way. So I don't think engineers have to take a communications course because they're awkward. I think every major has to take a communications course. Or that's what they tell us, to not hurt our feelings. So when you go home for winter break after your first quarter or semester of college and your weird Uncle Ron is like, Hey, how are those engineering courses? Um, you can't really tell them anything. And the interaction will look something like this. Hey man. Oh, hey Ron. Hey, so you got that test coming up, huh? Test? What? No, what are you talking about? Ron, it's winter break. That was like two weeks ago. Oh, yeah. So, engineering, huh? How's that? Uh, yeah, I'm even surprised you remembered my major. You made your what? Uh-huh, that's more like it. Um, engineering's fine. Nice, so how are those engineering courses, huh? Oh, well, I actually haven't taken one yet. Mm-hmm. So you're a slacker, just like your mother, huh? Ron, aren't you unemployed? Hey, I have an interview, okay? Yeah, an interview. Not a job. And they don't have engineering majors take engineering courses for the first couple of quarters. Huh. An engineering major not doing engineering courses. And you're telling me school's not a backward system, huh? Didn't you, like, fail sixth grade? No, I didn't fail sixth grade, okay? I... I failed fifth grade. Jesus Christ, Ron, that's worse. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I guess I wouldn't be able to know because you failed fifth grade. Yeah, I failed fifth grade. God, you suck. So yeah, those are three things I've learned as an engineering major in college. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video. And subscribe because, um, actually I don't know what the point of it is. Okay, well that's that's the point of the video, and it's 
a joke I already did. Anyways, I hope this was helpful and a little bit entertaining, and make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time, if you stick around to see the point of the next video. And this is an overused joke. I'm so sorry that I've used it so many times. Bye. How your eyes start to